In December, Chronicle brought you a story on happiness, what it means to be happy, and the dynamics in our lives that matter most. Our relationships matter, right? Our social connections matter the most. It seems impossibly real that just a few months later, so many people would be sharing stories about overcoming a necessary distance. Our doors are closed, but in many ways, our hearts are open. We are inviting people into our homes virtually. Woo, cheers! In new and sometimes... Hold on, hold on. What happened? I saw nothing. Very real ways. Happy birthday to you. The window to the world has taken on a new meaning. She doesn't usually cry, but she did. Still celebrating milestones. Maybe without the parties. But bring on the parades. There have been many moments of sadness. When I talk, talk about it, jump. Loved ones kept apart physically. Hey, you, Mary Lou, guess who's here to sing for you? But brought together through serenades. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Oh, oh you're so beautiful. <laughs> Touch may be on hold, but nothing was going to separate the Sweeney family of New Hampshire from the joy of meeting their granddaughter. A first floor window at North Shore Medical Center is all they needed to see those tiny toes. We look over one day and there they are on a ladder at the window. Little Gracie will have a story to tell, we all will, about finding the silver lining in uncertainty. We love you. We can't wait to snuggle with you. How tears are not filled with just one emotion. It's been a little tough, but they're healthy. That's what counts. We have found new ways to adapt. Cleaning, reading, and napping. And for some, new hobbies. Baking. <laughs> I'm cooking. That's not me. Lights bring hope no matter the season. Parents, teachers of life, now teachers of academics. Concerts and sports wait our return. Entertainment now found where it was always free. Shared humor. Chin -chin, thank you for coming. Chin -chin. Children communicating through colors of inspiration. Some positive messages while we keep our space from each other. Empty streets now filled with neighborhood chorus. And our greatest moments are being revealed in our shared humanity. If every community would get together, take care of one another. You know, we will all be able to do something. Kindness delivered directly to doorsteps. You're welcome. Thank you, I appreciate it. In Millbury, Sud City Laundromat serving as an unlikely food pantry. Owner David Delaney says donations started flowing in. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Just one thank microcosm you. of a world that is overcoming physical divides. This time to me is humbling. It's not just one business. It's one entire community. A community stepping up to help its heroes. The light shining on some for the first time. If it wasn't for them, we couldn't get anything. There will be losses. Society will in some way change. Perhaps when we join together again, we will look at things differently, offer hugs more freely. But for now, we fall back on what helps people overcome. It's it's almost impossible to keep up with all the acts of kindness in our communities. It really does provide a bit of light in these challenging times. Up next, Ted Reinstein on the importance of staying connected.